of course, some people, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty kind of hardcore about it. So they like to have a very large position. Other people just like to have a non-zero position. Uh, and so I think there's a, a wide range, uh, but I think it's a really useful tool that people can use uh, to kind of opt out of some of the system. And so if you look at, uh, you know, how these kind of debt bubbles are historically done, you know, if, if, if governments find themselves up against these really big levels of debt, what they normally do is try to have negative real interest rates. And so you start to see, for example, they'll, they'll do all sorts of fiscal stimulus and they'll try to have this non-zero inflation rate. Uh, and then they'll try to keep bond yields and, and savings bank yields below that inflation rate. Uh, so that basically your purchasing power bleeds over time. Uh, and so that basically makes that, the, you know, the debt goes down potentially in real terms, or at least stops going up. Uh, I mean, in nominal terms, if you look at, say, as a percentage of nominal GDP, uh, but basically anyone who's holding cash and bonds for that period uh, ends up losing purchasing power. And so as there's this scramble for, you know, stores of value, uh, I do think that Bitcoin is, is is quite well positioned to take advantage of that. And we'll, we'll start to see over time how high that game theory goes. So, for example, the first decade of his life, it was largely a retail phenomenon. Uh, 2020 was the year of institutional interest. Uh, we also started to see at least a, a you know a couple nation states show some degree of interest, and so for example, Iran's using it as a kind of a tool to get around some sanctions. We'll see if it goes up to higher levels than that. Uh, but basically, as as it grows in market cap, as it grows in dispersion and liquidity, uh, it gives uh, you know it catches the attention of larger players uh, and becomes a large enough market uh, for them to get into. And so we'll see how far it goes. But uh, you know the the combination of a store of value with a network effect, I think, you know, very powerful.